Ever since the introduction of the fight between Frank Martin and Gervonta Davis, Martin has been seen as the underdog in this fight. Gervonta, on the other hand, is always feuding and in drama with someone. Recently, he was going against his former mentor, Floyd Mayweather, and after Devin Haney, after he lost to Ryan Garcia, who Tank defeated last year. And somehow he doesn't seem concerned about Frank Martin. Boxing pros, on the other hand, seem to think otherwise and issued a huge warning to Tank. Recently, an unusual opinion came from Milwaukee Bucks guard, Damian Lillard. He turned his attention to the upcoming bout between Gervonta Davis and Frank Martin. On his official X account, the eight-time All-Star cautioned the champion not to underestimate Martin, highlighting that this is a very competitive fight. Lillard, a lifelong boxing fan, has always been passionate about the sport. Growing up watching major fights was a regular family activity. Even now, Lillard incorporates boxing into his off-season workouts to enhance his preparation for NBA games. As the Milwaukee Bucks star continues to support Martin, it's clear he sees the potential for an upset in the ring. Whether Davis will retain his championship or Martin will achieve a surprise victory remains to be seen. Nonetheless, Lillard's warning underscores the threat Martin poses, setting the stage for an exciting showdown. But he is not alone in this matter. Trainer Derek James, known for working with top fighters, has expressed confidence in Martin's abilities, suggesting that he has what it takes to compete with the best in the lightweight division. However, James also emphasizes the importance of time and development for Martin, hinting that facing the most formidable opponents should come at the right moment. Even beyond Martin's camp, prominent figures in the boxing world, such as Clarissa Shields and Errol Spence Jr., have weighed in on the upcoming matchup. Shields, a world champion herself, has voiced support for Martin and hopes he beats the hell out of Tank Davis. Spence Jr., meanwhile, has praised Martin's skills, labeling him as the most skilled and talented opponent Davis has faced. With both Shields and Spence Jr. expressing confidence in Martin's abilities, it's clear that he's not to be underestimated. As the fight approaches, all eyes will be on Martin as he looks to defy the odds and make a statement against the reigning WBA lightweight champion, Gervonta Davis. Devin Haney recently shared his thoughts on the upcoming fight between Frank Martin and Gervonta Tank Davis, particularly after seeing Martin's latest training footage. Haney acknowledged the skepticism surrounding Martin, but believes he will give Davis a tough fight. While Haney thinks Davis has the skills and experience to win, he also sees Martin as a serious contender who will fight hard to earn respect. Frank Martin, set to face WBA lightweight champion Davis on June 15th at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, has an impressive record of 18 wins, including 12 knockouts. Despite his underdog status, Martin's rigorous training and recent performance against Michelle Rivera have earned him attention and support from the boxing community. In addition to support from his trainer, Martin has caught the eye of prominent boxing figures like Clarissa Shields and Errol Spence Jr. Shields hopes Martin can defeat Davis, while Spence Jr. praised Martin's skills and warned Davis of the challenge ahead. According to Spence Jr., Martin is the most talented fighter Davis has ever faced and has the potential to upset the reigning champion. Despite this support, some, like Haney, believe Davis's experience and skill set will prevail. Haney predicts a challenging fight, but ultimately sees Davis emerging victorious due to his proven track record and ability to handle pressure. Ahead of the fight, Martin has shared his thoughts on Davis, stating that he doesn't consider Davis the most powerful puncher he has faced. He remains confident and motivated, viewing this bout as a significant opportunity to showcase his abilities on a world stage. On the other hand, Davis is preparing intensely, promising a dominant performance. He acknowledges the built-up tension and is determined to demonstrate his superiority in the ring. Davis's impressive win over Ryan Garcia and his experience in high-stakes fights add to his confidence. As the fight date approaches, Martin remains focused and appreciative of the opportunity to compete at this level. He is determined to defy expectations and prove himself as a formidable contender in the boxing world. 
both fighters are gearing up for a highly anticipated showdown that promises to be an exciting and intense battle. Ryan Garcia seemed to get scared after getting hurt in the second round by Tank Davis last year. Errol Spence Jr. commented that Tank Davis can't afford to take the early rounds off and hope for a knockout later. Spence believes Frank Martin will dominate Davis from the first to the 12th round and ultimately win the fight. He thinks Martin is the best fighter Davis has faced, highlighting Martin's speed, strength, and power. However, doubts linger because Martin's last fight against Artem Haroon didn't showcase his best performance. If Martin had shined against top fighters like Shakur Stevenson, Andy Cruz, or Vasily Lomachenko, more people would believe in his chances. Nevertheless, Spence is confident that Martin will prove he's the best at 135 pounds by beating Tank Davis. He even hinted at a rematch with Davis after Martin's expected victory, pushing Shakur Stevenson to wait for his turn. Despite Martin's confidence and his past experience sparring with Davis, many still doubt his chances. For example, Eddie Hearn acknowledged Martin as a good fighter, but considered the fight an easy win for Davis. Hearn believes the match might not draw massive numbers, but sees it as a decent fight. Ryan Garcia, who shares the same trainer as Martin, has not been swayed by Martin's exploits in the gym. Instead, he has publicly supported Tank Davis, predicting a seventh round knockout against Martin. This prediction surprised many, especially given Garcia's recent rivalry with Davis. However, Garcia's support for Davis may be strategic, considering the doping allegations against him and his uncertain future in boxing. The switch in loyalty from Garcia deeply frustrated Frank Martin. Initially, Garcia had supported Martin, confidently predicting his victory. The sudden shift, especially since both fighters share the same trainer and training location, raised eyebrows. Many believe Garcia should have remained neutral to avoid causing friction. Speculation is that Garcia's endorsement of Davis might be more than just a matter of opinion. With his career in limbo due to recent positive tests for banned substances, Garcia's future in the ring is uncertain, possibly influencing his support for Davis. Meanwhile, Tank Davis, confident and ready, has promised a beast performance against Martin on June 15th at the MGM Grand Garden in Las Vegas, anticipating an intense showdown that will showcase his dominance. The New York State Athletic Commission hasn't yet addressed Ryan Garcia's case, leaving him in a tricky situation. A rematch with Tank Davis could give Garcia the big fight and substantial payday he needs, especially after his surprising win over WBC light welterweight champion Devin Haney. Frank Martin, despite being an underdog, remains determined. His last fight against Artem Haroon showed his resilience, rallying to secure a 12-round unanimous decision. However, few people are giving him a chance against Tank Davis, who boasts an impressive 29, zero record with 27 knockouts. Martin's recent gym performances have started to win over more fans, but his journey remains challenging. He expressed frustration over what he saw as disloyalty from Garcia, who shifted from supporting him to betting a million dollars on Davis. Martin didn't mince words, calling out Garcia for being fake and emphasizing that trust is rare in boxing. He insisted that in this sport, you often feel like you're in it alone, despite having a solid team. The world of boxing is ruthless and allegiances can change quickly. Martin is not just preparing for a fight against Davis. He's grappling with the reality of betrayal and shifting loyalties. As he gears up for the fight of his life on June 15th, he knows this is about more than just a title. It's about proving that integrity still matters in boxing. In the midst of his preparations, Martin and his trainer, Derek James, took time to give back to the community. They appeared on the Children's Health Hospital Morning Show to support the Derek James Family Foundation's endowment for pediatric mental health. Martin and James shared lessons from their boxing experience to inspire the children at the hospital. Martin emphasized that his efforts are bigger than just himself. He fights for his family, friends, and the kids who look up to him. 
Despite the criticism and doubts, Martin remains focused. He sparred with Davis years ago, which was a major talking point at their press conference. Martin is determined to inspire others through his performance in the ring, putting everything he has into being at his best on June 15th. James, too, sees his role as a role model and feels a responsibility to the youth in his community. Their visit to the Children's Health Hospital underscores their commitment to making a positive impact beyond boxing.